Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Now we are going to install JPROP Artifactory. So for that, I have to start a new machine. Quickly change the appearance and make it a bit bold. So, yep. so now the previous is Java installation. Now we are going to install Java onto the machine first. Okay. It's the same way we have installed Java in our first program. Setting up the Java path. And then, and then we have to source our environment file. Quickly checking the Java version and Java part. Everything is set. Now we are going to install JFrog Artifactory. So the first thing is we are going to download the JFrog package from the JFrog website using WGEC. Okay. And we can see we have a package with this extension as zip. So we have to install and zip. Before that, we are going to move this directory, move this file into the location slash opt. Okay. And you can see the file is moved here. Why we are doing it? Because we will do all our things in the optional folder. To unzip it, we have to install the package name unzip, and then we can unzip any file over here. Fine. And then we have to unzip 
the file, the JSON artifactual file. Okay. So we have unzipped it and we can see there is the folder name artifactory hyphen OSS hyphen five dot nine dot three. So that is the current version of artifactory. Now we will go into the artifactory. And we will go inside the bean folder where every time we have to start and stop the services. And there is the script name install service which will install the Tomcat, uh, sorry, which will install the JSON into this machine. Fine, so this is installed. And then we can say start the service and check whether it is able to start or not. It will take a bit of time. Okay, yeah, started. So when we started, now what we have to do, we have to, now we have already checked whether we can start or not, whether all the parts are set or not. Now we will, we are going to launch it to a web server. So we are typing and going to stop the service. Okay. So now we can see the folder structure over here. So we have folders like Tomcat and the dash there. So what we have to do here is, if you go and check the dash folder, we have a file name artifactory.war, but the same way we we are installing Jenkins, we are going to run Jenkins on the top of Tomcat. We are going to copy this WAR file and paste it into the Tomcat directory. Okay? So for that, I will come back. CP, get that. Artifactory.war to Tomcat. Sorry. So if you go inside Tomcat and check, we have this file name artifactory.org. Okay. And then we will go back and start our service again. So this is the command to start the artifactory service, system CTM start artifactory.service, enter. So yeah, once it is started, you can quickly go and check the status whether it is started or not. So what I want to do that is just to remove start from the middle and put status. So yeah, we can see that it is actively running. Now to check the web application, we have to copy the IP address. And Artifactory will run in the port 8081. And the war file name, the same way we gave it for Jenkins, as Artifactory.
Yeah, and you can see the web page popping up. Welcome to JS Pro Artifact. Come on. So we are going to give our new password and retype the password. Actually, the uh, uh, username for the JFrog, default username is admin. Now we are setting up the password. It is again admin. No problem. Next. I think we don't need to type these things. Tip. Tip. Friends. So yeah, we have set our artifact page up and running. Thank you for watching the video. Hit like if you really like the video. Subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any queries. Thank you.